you are planning to build or already building an electric mounting board or a board that can go off-road in snow, rain. One very important and very expensive component of any electrical skateboard is EC or VESC. So if you have decided to go for a high quality VESC and the smallest one available like this beautiful VESC HD60 high density VESC. Yes, this is dual VESC and yes it does fit into a palm of my hand. If you don't know what it is, take a look at the video in the description below. It's a full review of this beautiful new VESC by Trampa. So if you have decided to go for something like this, how do you make sure that 360 pounds worth of tech does not get damaged just because water got to it? Just because you got carried away riding around in dirt, mud and rain? I've got a solution for you. In my previous videos, I have already covered this beautiful, high quality, 100% waterproof, universal EC enclosure, EC box by 3D Services. EU designed, EU built. Two of these were already given away on my channel as a uh, lottery as such and two lucky winners for £10 got themselves one of each. So this unit is designed to fit any size of EC or VESC available on the market. However, for HD60 there is something very new. Today's video is going to be a test, a bucket test and also a full review of new EC or VESC enclosure specifically designed for HD60. Let's cover the cost straight away guys. So this box will set you back 120 euros plus VAT plus the delivery depending where you are in the world. However, there's something new about this box. For starters, it is 100% waterproof. Don't worry, we're going to test it further in this video. I'm going to install brand new HD60 in this box and just chuck it in the water and we'll see if it's good or not. Second of all, the design of the heatsink is completely redone. If you compare it to the previous unit, it's a different pattern, specifically for HD60. The location of the switch is now shifted to a corner instead of being in the middle. The quality of it, it's still the same. High quality, made in EU. CNC cut aluminium heatsink at the top. CNC cut aluminium bottom of the box and also a bracket that will lift the box off the deck allowing more air to go under and cool the enclosure itself and also will allow you to shift the EC box on your deck to your liking. So let's compare it to the universal box in size. As you can see it's a smaller box. Well because we're fitting a very small VESC. So physical sizes. The box itself externally is 145 millimeters wide. It is 122 millimeters, well tall I guess, and it is 45 millimeters deep. Including the bracket it is 57 millimeters. So what do you get? when you order one of these boxes from 3D services. Let's take a look inside. Two external bolts right here are keeping the box on the top of the actual bracket. The bracket gets fixed onto your deck and then the box is secured by the four screws right here. The rest of the six screws are holding the enclosure together. So the enclosure consists of a top mounted heatsink with 100% waterproof button pre-installed. I want to mention something. The original switch that comes from Trampa is not waterproof and it will fail on you if it gets wet. That's why 3 services will now include a waterproof switch so you can just plug the cables to the new switch and you're definitely good to go. Inside the enclosure you will have all the screws that you need 
to install this box. So you got your truck bolts and also little screws that will hold the VESC HD60 onto the already provided plate that is mounted on the heatsink. Then you get the body itself, which is CNC ABS plastic. It's made out of the large block, so it's solid, very strong. Also, European made, these are made in Finland, cable connectors. You get enough for all your face cables and also for your power cables. These are 100% waterproof if they are installed correctly. This is the base uh, plate, base cover, which does have a seal all the way around. The same one as you've got on the top plate. This makes the box 100% waterproof. So how do you install HD60 into this EC box? There is a stainless steel plate that was specifically designed for HD60. All the screws are provided, so you take the plate off. You take the four screws already provided and you mount the VESC onto it. On the other side, the screws are countersunk. Just to mention, there is no branding or no visual branding on this EC enclosure, VESC enclosure. So you can put on it whatever you want. Next step, very simple. You apply some Teflon tape or silicone on the thread of the adapters and you install them onto the body of the box. The holes for the adapters are perfectly uh, positioned. So if you go from the bottom up, one after another, you got perfect spacing to put the spanner on it. Just you were interested guys, just for this video, this is how you apply the Teflon, uh, Teflon tape if you're going for it. So you start at one point, pinch it, and then you go clockwise, because this is how you're going to wind it in, so the thread does not pull back the Teflon. Comes out nice and neat guys, it does make the thread 100% waterproof and you cannot actually see it after you install it. These cable adapters guys are chosen wisely so you don't have to take off the straight connectors in order to install them. So simply push the cable nice and gentle through the adapter and you tighten it up. Inside the adapter there is a rubber grommet. That rubber grommet will seal around the silicone cable and will make it 100% watertight. And here we go guys. So this is in case if you want to have your motor to vest connections to be external. Maybe you got a longer run to your motors and your motor cables are not enough. If you don't you just push the motor cables through into the enclosure and make a vinyl connection inside. Doesn't matter. So, let's take a look. Inside of the enclosure, after you have installed the VESC, you got enough space for Metro Pro, you got enough space for the remote receiver and other couple of bits if you need to. Just enough to keep it small. Now I'm going to install just a bit of silicone wire and loop it out in order to seal these two power adapters and also piece of silicone wire through the adapters for the sensor cables and we're going to dip it in a bucket. So Vesk is now inside the enclosure. Let's close her up.
Now let's make sure that we tighten up the cable adapters because this is what seals around the cable. Remember guys, it needs to be a good quality silicon cable going through them, not individual cables, otherwise it will not seal. You don't have to go crazy tight, just hand tight. It's a really good quality silicon, so this will grab onto the cable really well. Okay, so now it's as simple as running the timer, so you know the video is actually not edited. Here's the enclosure, here's the bucket with water. Yes, there is water in there. And now, dunk it, well, all the way in. There we go. Foot is submerged. And we'll leave it there. There's the timer right there, still running. And now we're going to speed this video up just a bit. Okay, so I guess it's enough. And as you can see, absolutely nice and dry inside the enclosure. Can you see it? Let me bring the camera closer. See, time is still rolling, so no editing. Absolutely nice and dry. So this is it for this video guys. High quality VESC. High quality enclosure to match it. 100% waterproof. For 120 euros plus VAT and delivery, I don't think it's a bad deal. Comes with the switch. So I hope this video was useful, especially for all the DIYers out there and people who want to use HD60. Or for even tramper boys who want to upgrade the EC and make it 100% waterproof with the waterproof switch. The only thing I would say, build safely, ride safely, enjoy your life and I see you very soon. Bye.